Hello everyone, in this video I would like to cover 2016 Amy problem number 12 which is going to talk about recursion. All right, so I would say this is going to be everything about recursion. All right, so here we go. Uh, the figure below shows a ring made of six smaller sections. So we have a ring uh, such that there's going to be a smaller six sections like this, I would say, and uh, uh, which you are to paint a wall, paint on a wall. You have four paint colors available and you will paint each of the six sections a solid color. Now find a number of ways so you can choose to paint the sections if no two adjacent sections can be painted with the same colors. So in other words, suppose we have color one and color two and color three and color four in that region. Um, and we need to color them uh, using every possibilities or I, you know, you don't have to use all colors. In fact, uh, you can you, you can use like C1, C2, C1, C2, C1, and C3 or something like that. Uh, but that being said, in order to do so, uh, I would like to put some colors out here. If you put some colors out there, then this must be C1, C2. We got four possibilities. And imagine that we chose a C1 for this one. And if imagine, you know, like, uh, you know, placing colors or coloring those with paints counterclockwise directions or you know maybe clockwise directions yes maybe clockwise directions I can actually put some colors out there and I can call it C2 C3 or C4 just wouldn't matter but it's not going to be C1 right so if I think about all possibilities if I think about all possible cases all possible cases then I would say I got four times three to the power of five that's going to be all possible cases because we can find four cases and three cases and three cases, three cases, three cases, and three cases. And the problem that we face is that there's, there's going to be some moments when we have some colors that are labeled out there and we have a problem. Now, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say that A6 is going to be the number of ways, and this is going to be step one, number of ways to color to color a six ring satisfying the given conditions. Now, here's what's up. If I have, imagine that if I have this part out here colored exactly same as the first one, then it would have been something like one part and the other part, the second, the third part, fourth part, and the fifth part. So what I'm saying is that out of all possible cases, all I need to do is just to subtract a sub five, which is going to be the number of ways to color a six ring. So since we just have identified those generic state statements, well, we can, we can perform step number one. We can say step one, saying that A sub N is the number of ways to color or number of ways to use all those four paints, or not all four paints, but using those paints to color a N ring, all right? So number of ways, number of ways to color a n ring and in other words step number two in this possible cases i would say it's just going to be something like a sub n will be four times three to the power of n minus one minus a sub n minus one uh, we can set up a very specific state for this one and that's going to be the recursion so let's just try to find out what a sub two is okay a sub two well a sub two is just going to be two ring stuff Two ring figures, and that's just, that's just going to be four times three. This must be twelve. Okay. What about a sub three then? A sub three is going to be four times three squared minus twelve. Well, that's just going to be twenty-four. Now, what about a sub four then? Well, a sub four is just going to be four times three cubed minus twenty-four, and we have uh, one hundred eight. One hundred eight minus twenty-four which is going to be 84 and a sub five will be four times three to the power of four minus uh, 84. So what's four times 81? So 324, yes. Uh, and that becomes minus 84. So we get 240. Okay. So the next one is that we just have to figure out a sub six, but I know that a sub five is supposed to be 240. So that turns out to be four times um, 243, and we're subtracting this with 240. 
Okay, so this uh, will just be um, 976, uh, 72, I suppose. So 972, and we're subtracting with 240. So in the end, eventually we get 732, and that becomes the answer.